Ngayon naman ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa addition of polynomials. Our learning objective for today is add polynomials by combining similar terms. Addition of polynomials. We add the numerical coefficients using the rule in addition of sign numbers and affix the same literal coefficients and exponents. Again, when we are adding uh, polynomials, we are just adding or combining only similar terms. Ano uli ang similar terms? Ang similar terms, ito yung mga terms na may the same variables at the same powers or exponents. Then, the numerical coefficients, we're just going to add and then copy the literal coefficients. Okay, let us have the following examples. Number one, we have 3x plus 8x plus 5x. Itong tatlong terms sa to, sila ay similar terms. So, we can combine. They have the same power, the same variables, which is x, and the same exponent or power, which is 1. Kaya pwede natin silang i-add or i-combine. So, let us add 3 plus 8 plus 5. Ang i-add lang natin ay ang kanilang numerical coefficients o ito yung mga numbers or mga constant na nasa harapan ng variable x. So, 3 plus 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. And then, just to fix or copy the literal coefficients na pare-parehong meron sila, which is x. So, therefore, we have 16x. So, the answer is 16 Next example, 23x plus negative 4x. These two terms are again similar terms. Dahil sa mayroon silang parehong variable na x at ang exponent or power na kanilang variables ay parehong 1. Although magkaiba sila ng sign ng numerical coefficient, si 23x ay positive at si 4 ay negative. They are still considered as similar terms. Then, we're just going to add the numerical coefficients na 23 at negative 4. So, since na silang dalawa ay magkaiba ng sign, we are just going to subtract the two of them. So, 23 minus 4 is equal to 19. And then, copy the literal coefficient na x. Then, si 19, ang kanyang sign ay positive. Dahil sa mas malaki si 23 which is positive kesa dito kay 4. That's why 19 will carry the sign na positive sign ni 23. So the answer is positive 19x. Number 3, negative 8x plus 3x plus 14x. Again, itong tatlong terms na to, sila pa rin ay similar terms. So we can rearrange these three terms Applying the commutative property of addition wherein kahit na mabago ang mga positioning nila ay hindi pa rin mababago ang resulta or ang kanilang sum. So we can rearrange. Pagtabihin natin ang dalawang positive, 3x plus 14x. 3x plus 14x, then minus 8x. Mas madaling mag-add ng polynomials kapag magkatabi ay ang mga pareho ng sign numbers. 3x plus 14x minus 8x. Now, let us now add the numerical coefficients ng tatlong terms na to. 3 plus 14 is 17x. Minus 8x is equal to 17 minus 8 is 9. Copy the literal coefficient na parehong meron sila, which is x. So, therefore, the answer is 9x. Number 4. y plus 7y squared minus 8y. Again, let us first rearrange 
ang these polynomials or this algebraic expression na kung saan magkatabi ang parehong similar terms. Ang similar terms dito ay ang y at ang negative 8y. Dahil pareho sa kanilang variable, which is y, at ang exponent or power ng kanilang variable ay 1. Then, we're just going to rewrite the 7y squared. y minus 8y plus 7y squared. Ginamit lamang din natin ang commutative property of addition. Para na sa ganon, ay mas madali natin, mas madali tayong makakapag-add ng ating mga monomials. So, let us now proceed now in the addition. y minus 8y is equal to negative 7y. At since na itong si 7y squared ay hindi pareho ng term dito kay negative 7y, ay we're just going to copy the term 7y squared. So, the answer is negative 7y plus 7y squared. Number 5. 2xy plus 4xy minus 2x squared y plus 3x squared y. So, in this given um, in this given example, itong first term na ito at second term na ito, sila ay similar terms dahil pareho ang kanilang variables which are x and y at pareho din ang kanilang mga exponents or powers which is 1. At itong pangatlo at pangapat na terms, they are also similar terms. So, silang dalawa lamang ang similar terms dahil sa pareho ang kanilang variables na x and y at Pareho din ang kanilang mga exponents or powers which is the power of x is 2 and the power or exponent of y is 1. Silang itong terms na ito, third and fourth terms na ito, sila ay hindi kapareho dito kay first and second. Although pare pareho sila ng variables x and y, magkaiba naman ang kanilang mga exponents or powers. So, we're just going to add the similar terms. So, add natin ang numerical coefficients ng similar terms ng first and second term. So, we have 2 plus 4 is 6. Copy the literal coefficients na mayroong pareho silang dalawa na x and y. And then, in, for the third and fourth term, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1x or positive x squared y. Hindi na natin kailangan pang isulat si 1 na numerical coefficient dito because it is understood na kapag 1 ang numerical coefficient or constant ng isang term, then uh, it is already understood na it is 1. So, no need to write it. So, therefore, the answer is 6xy plus x squared y. Hindi natin sila pwedeng pagsamahin or i-combine or i-add dahil sa silang dalawa ay dissimilar terms. Dahil dito, itong first term na to, ang kanyang variables are x and y, but ang kanyang exponents ay 1. At dito naman, ang exponents ng variables ni x and y ay 2 at 1. So, they are the similar terms. So, hindi natin sila pwedeng i-combine. So, always remember, when we are adding polynomials, we are just adding only similar terms.